guys, this is Saurabh from TechYard and today I've got the Hexagon ROM for the Redmi Note 4. Well, uh, if you have noticed one thing and is that uh, with the coming of the, with the Redmi Note 4 launch uh, and the Nougat preview from Xiaomi, it has been way more easier for developers to come up with more uh, Redmi Note 4 ROMs with Nougat, uh, you know, Nougat backbone than the redmi 3s and it is something that was gonna be obvious so yeah hexagon rom does run on the nougat and for uh, i know that our videos are getting irregular we can't post videos at times i know that and i'm sorry for that also because a lot of things are happening on the background so even uh, after march uh, after the second week of may me sorry you will your people are gonna get a lot of new things from us yeah that's gonna happen anyway so talking about this rom uh, this rom is good uh, for hexagon rom lovers this is good we get a lot of customizations although we have to sacrifice a bit of uh, free ram on the very first boot but i do think that's acceptable now the thing about this rom is that you get a lot of customizations uh, but not all of them work in this build uh, it might be because of the limitation that this is the first build or uh, it needs it actually needs more uh, development so yeah i have to just give it we have to give it a few more time just like you can see that the night light or the reading mode that we are uh, you know used to in xiaomi that didn't work out in this case so yeah and also the brightness control does work but um, not all of the time so i do believe with certain updates certain development uh, builds uh, we will be able to get more stable builds and working builds um, for the hexagon rom this is a very preview build i would say now the navigation bars is there on screen app bars although i'm not a very big fan of that if you are following me for quite a long time anyways guys uh, if you really want to uh, know more about it uh, I will post down the links of the thread and also we'll, we'll link down the post that we have written in our website thetakeyearweb.com so that will be beneficial to you I believe. Now talking to uh, the customizations there are a lot of customizations hexagon always means a lot of customizations so yeah here are they and uh, they're good to be honest they're good I won't be uh, you know I won't be claiming that uh, all of them work but yeah most of them work without any issues. So download this ROM if you really want to use and don't use your camera a lot is because the output that I got from the camera was not good. It's not good at all in my opinion. Uh, so if you ask me which is the best ROM, most stable ROM as of now, I'd say go for the OSP Extended. That is the best ROM that you can go for. The ROM is pre-rooted, you get the kernel auditor and I know I'm, I haven't posted the kernel auditor just 11th april guys my exam will be completely over my practical exams are just ruining my life so after 11th of april uh, you will get that on 15th april that's my birthday so you will get around on 17th april you will get that don't worry so the kernel auditor is there and you can still work with that but uh, i haven't found any you know stable kernel for redmi note 4 so i'm not gonna use the kernel stops now a lot of people found issue with uh, geo calling i mean volte calling so I hope a lot of people are gonna go with the Geo Prime. So the issue with this uh, ROM is that you have to go, uh, set up your own APN. The APN is not predefined, it's not preset. So you have to do that by yourself. So in order to do that, just go to your Geo SIM settings and there just go to APN, add an APN. You know that what I'm talking about, it's GeoNet. And then just the name will be GeoNet. The APN name will be GeoNet as well. Make sure you type all the letters in small fonts not in capital and then just keep it in that way just save it you can easily go for ip ipv4 slash ipv6 that are entirely up to you now going to uh, volte calling again it works programming response to geo prime you may face intermittent issues while recharging we apologize for the inconvenience and request you to so anyhow the volte calling works without any issue after this apn method now talking about camera well i i already told you that uh, the camera samples are not satisfactory yes in my opinion uh, the way i have seen with redmi note 4 i'm not very happy with it the closer focusing does not work and the focusing is not that much crisp either so if you are actually a fond of uh, photography in your redmi note 4 don't go for this ROM, stay with your USB extended, I believe that's a better camera. I'm not saying the ROM is bad, but I really do believe that uh, after a few builds, they will come up with a very good build. But as of now, 
uh, I'm not very happy with the overall output. Although in this image, the image, uh, the focus was crisp, but uh, in AOS, AOS, AOS P extended, like I used earlier, the ROM is, is still now the best ROM that I've used. So, and one more thing, I do believe that uh, somehow the camera is actually, you know, amplifies the uh, white balance. I don't know how it happens, but it, it is actually happening. My uh, white paper is not that much white. So, don't know what's how that's happening, but yeah, that's the fact. Anyways, uh, there is the gigantic crop factor. I hate it. I, I, I Sorry, I can't censor anything right here. I really hate it. And uh, I really do believe that the uh, there are some glitches while shooting the video. I'm not really happy at all with the video quality. I mean, while shooting the video. Anyways, uh, the video quality came out to be good. But I really failed there were few glitches where I was, you know, shooting the video. And I really believe that uh, that's not a very good thing, in my opinion. I really found that quite a long, quite a long time. So, yeah, that's something that we have to look for. Now, talking about Android benchmarking. 61,610. Wow, 61610. So, this is an average code that we are gonna get with Redmi Note 4. So, yeah, that's okay. So, whether you should go for this ROM or not, yeah, go if you really don't want to use, don't want to use camera that much. And like and share this video as well. Subscribe to our channel. Other videos are in the description. Make sure to check that. Stay awesome. Stay subscribed. I'll be seeing ya.